I'm a Lego inventor, and I want to create a Lego robot hand that basically copies my real hand. Basically, the concept is to use Lego gyro sensors, strap like five of them to my hand, and then build a Lego hand with five motors on it, and each gyro sensor attached to each of my fingers would control a different motor. So you could have a fully articulated hand that you can control without actually being the hand that's being controlled. <laughs> So the first step is to take five Lego Mindstorms motors and attach them in a formation that looks like a hand. Considering how thick these are, that would probably not be the smartest thing to do. So, what if we take the finger designs from our mechanical hand project and build something like this with one motor that basically just pushes on this and makes the finger close. So we would have five motors, a hand that actually looks good in the front, and five motors behind a wall. Well, I hate to do this, but we gotta rip this apart. We need to shrink these down quite a bit because these are way too big. Okay, that's quite a bit smaller, look at that. So this is before and this is after. Before we make those changes to the other ones, I'm just gonna test if this will work. We got our EV3 with some off-brand wires because I was getting tired of the short ones. So we take a motor. Now this should theoretically work, but I'm not really sure. I've made a simple code, which essentially just turns the degree of rotation from the gyro sensor into motor degrees turned. So check this out. This is strapped onto my index finger, so when I bend this, Guys, that is so awesome, let's go. That's so cool, dude, oh my god. Okay, this is perfect. We're gonna take this off and have it back behind. So basically we just have some axles running through here. So the next step is then to rebuild all of these and then we can put them in a hand formation, run the axles back to the motors, that should make them turn, and then we'll just have to figure out a way to make it turn like this. So that's perfect. We've got these all built up, so now the next step is to attach them all. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that, perfect. And then each one of these gets controlled by a servos. I just built this box with a circle in it, and essentially, we're gonna have the hand coming out of the circle. Then this will be able to turn. We'll have all the motors and stuff behind it back here, and that will make it so everything is controlled and looks good. The robot hand will just be in the front. So the next thing we need to do is figure out how we're gonna make the wrist rotate. If this stands up right here, and you attach the wrist to it, it could work if we just do this and have it only rotate, because my arm only rotates like this. If we just take an axle, and metal axle, put that through this, then I'm thinking that should give us good enough turning room where we can just put this thing like that. Now this turns on one motor and these can just rotate around it because your, your arm doesn't really turn like all the way anyway. These things will control the fingers. Now we just need to make something back here. We'll control these so they don't get out of hand. Okay, now we just gotta install four motors and hope this is finally balanced. This can go behind the wall like this now. <laughs> and the hand sticks out, and this thing goes here and rotates with it. There's no way this is gonna work. We just saw the motors on the bottom. Now we just gotta attach these motors to these. Okay, I think I figured out the first linkage mechanism. That's perfect, yo, look at that. <laughs> Now we just gotta set up the other ones. This is the mechanism I'm using here. It just basically pulls it back. So I'm gonna set up the other ones and then we'll fix the thumb and then we can figure out how I'm actually gonna mount these to my hand. The next step is to add the thumb because the thumb needs to close and open and also go like this side to side. So we need to get that side to side motion, something like that. So if we can mount this, wait, can it be this simple? Okay, now if we have a thumb right here, how do we make that close? This is feeling more impossible every second, you guys. The major issue being, this thing has to be able to bend and it has to work wherever this is. I mean, obviously you never have your thumb farther than this, but from here to here, it has to bend that entire time. I think we're gonna have to redesign this thumb with these gears so it actually opens and closes and the gear should work. Okay, so I figured out the thumb, check this out. This goes through the side like this. It can move like this, but in any position, using this other motor back here, it can also close. The mechanism for that just uses a pivot, and since this pivot joint is right on the pivot for this motor, this thing can turn no matter where it is. So since we got this part of the hand and the thumb figured out, we can now mount it inside of the circle wall thing, and then we can strap all the sensors to our hand and work on the programming. It's actually gonna make this thing work. Okay. 
We gotta mount this in here somehow. I was thinking if we could just This is so hard. All right, finally, after four hours, we have this in here. I think all the mechanics are done. Now we have to attach cords to all these. Lucky for me, I found a sweet deal on all these off-brand EV3 cables. All right, so we've got the mechanics ready. Now we need to work on the code. Okay, so we got our robot hand. I have some test code already, so I think I just need to add this together. And uh, this will be super fun. <laughs> yeah. Couple broke off. It's good, though. Download and run. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, I know an unexpected error. <sighs> okay, it didn't work. The thumb broke off. Nice. All right, I think we got the coating finished, but there's one last issue, and that's that these things I'm supposed to put on my fingers every time are super annoying and don't really work. They're always at an angle, and that's gonna mess us up. So I'm thinking, what if I take our other mechanical hand and then just put all these on top of that and attach these back to this like it was before? I think that'll probably work better, and since we used up all the stickers from last time, we'll just use tape. I think if we just add that, that should go in there like so. All right, I think we have all these mounted. Let's see if this thing still works. Look at that, guys. One of them is gonna go in my palm, and that'll make it so we can read like this motion. So the final step, we got all the mechanics done. We just need to make this thing look a lot cooler, separate the fingers because they're rubbing on each other and breaking. While I'm doing that, let me tell you about this video sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is an online learning tool with over 60 different interactive courses, each of which are based on different STEM topics, like mathematical fundamentals, scientific thinking, computer science, logic, and more. Using Brilliant is a fun way to learn concepts you're passionate about on your own and at your own pace. And each Brilliant course lets you actively solve problems using critical reasoning skills instead of just having you solve the same problem with different values again and again. Like, I've wanted to take algebra again since I graduated. I never really grasped the concept. <laughs> so I just started the pre-algebra course on Brilliant, and I think I'm actually starting to figure it out now. But if I do get hung up on a problem, I can hit this button, which will give me an in-depth explanation and example to help me understand what's what, instead of me just dancing around the problem trying to figure it out myself. <laughs> Personally, I really like the engaging, hands-on aspect Brilliant uses to teach STEM concepts. It's interactive, and it just makes learning more fun. So if you guys want to learn cool new STEM concepts, visit brilliant.org slash bricksigns to sign up for free. And also, the first 200 people will get 20% off their annual premium membership. Huge thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. I think we just finished this thing. Let's test it out. <laughs> All right, guys, this is it, the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm going to turn these on. So to put it on, you slide your fingers in, and then you put your thumb in, like that. All right, check this out. Them. Yo guys, look at that, that's so cool. That's awesome, yo. Check this out, I can point, I can do thumbs up, kinda. <laughs> Practicality uses, not many. I mean, it is literally super cool just watching all the fingers open and close. Like this is the glove, and this does exactly what the glove does. So the motor in the bottom turns it like this, Unfortunately, that also turns the thumb, but that's just because we ran out of slots. But that mimics roughly the rotation of your hand. The glove's a little janky, not gonna lie. <laughs> make a fist, make a knot fist, make a point. The thumb opens and closes, see, using this gear right there. And then it also moves up and down, so you can get different gestures in. The Spider-Man, okay. Let's see if we can grab a battery box here. I doubt it. This thing does roughly what your hand's doing, give or take a couple degrees, so I'd say that's a huge success and a big thumbs up. That's super cool. If you guys want to see me build other things with gyro sensors, I got a ton of ideas with the same concept, so comment down below and check out these two videos because YouTube recommends them specifically for you. See ya! <laughs>